Hi, everybody. So I've been asked by a few people to show what the, the diagnosing table is and how it was put together and why. Figured I'd take this opportunity to show everybody what it's all about. All right, everyone. So this is our table car, for lack of a better term. We use this to teach ourselves how to scope, what to scope, why to scope, and when to scope. This is functional as far as there is a key, you pull it out, everything turns off. You put it in, turn it on, everything comes on. If you try and crank, it will mimic what a vehicle does when you try and crank. The breadboard here has the terminating resistors. These are what I believe would go into the engine bay and hook into the engine harness. This is just can distribution, ground distribution, power distribution, fuse blocks, body control module, radio and telematics, cluster obviously, and steering column. Although this steering column is probably not the right one for this setup, but it worked and it was cheap. And here I use my own power supply because it gives me an amp draw. So once I turn off the power, you will see the amp draw start to change. And with the scan tool, it won't pick up the VIN because it can't get it from the PCM. However, if you put in 2014 Chevrolet truck and you select any of the options, it doesn't really matter. It'll do an all system scan and it will pull up these modules and give you all the codes that are here. AutoVIN doesn't work because I don't have a PCM and it's not pulling the VIN number from the BCM. I have no idea here. This is how we used it to teach us. And this is how you can use it in a classroom, like get this to work, right? I think this has something to do with a ground. I don't really recall. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.